What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work, so I appreciate each and every one of you guys um, here working as usual. I'm still working on these butcher blocks and things, trying to see if this is actually going to be a way that I can do this and stuff. And uh, been out running around doing all the things I need to do. Um, I've been doing my keto and everything else, and I need to let this basically sit here for about three minutes to finish mixing the epoxy and the resin before I put it on. So that's always a great time to talk to you guys. So we all know that now Kellen Moore is going to Jacksonville uh, for a second interview. I bet a lot of Cowboy fans are thinking, please, baby, 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 please, baby, 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 please hire Kellen Moore. We don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we'll have to wait and see. That's next week. And Dan Quinn, my big question on Dan Quinn was, after he decided, I'm going to stay right here in Dallas, was, was there a change in his contract? Was it Jerry Jones said, you know what, Dan, I want you to be here and to be just in case I don't have somebody else, the coach in waiting. We love what you do here and wink, wink. We got you covered and figured that maybe he would get some more money out of being here. But apparently there's no change to the contract structure, no new money, nothing. Just what Dan Quinn said was after Atlanta, after that situation and being fired and, and uh, you know, of course, losing the Super Bowl and just being burned out from being that head coach that he loves what he's doing right here, right now in Dallas, and that um, he's happy. And so this is actually kind of cool because I alluded to this because, you know, me personally, I could run and just do, you know, commercial jobs or I could do, you know, building houses and things like that and subcontract all the work um, and things. But it's something about doing it yourself, you know? Nobody cares about something the way you do. And that's why I'm a very hands-on individual and enjoy actually being hands-on. I like getting my hands, you know, get resin and stuff on my fingers, my fingernails getting dirty and stuff. Because at the end of the day, I can look down at this and I can say, I built this. Nobody else built this. I built this with my hands. And there's a big sense of satisfaction, sure. You could probably make more money being the boss and less physical wear and tear on your body, but it's not what I like. I remember when I was working for this company and we were working downtown and I told him, I said, you know, you need the job done. I can do the job. And the guy who was my boss was like, if you don't grow, I can't grow. I don't need you. To, he's like, I don't need you to go ahead and do the project. He's like, I need you to supervise that project and another project and another project. And I was like, dude, you got the wrong guy. You got the wrong guy. And so as you look at some of the coachings that have been out there, guys like Wade Phillips. Wade Phillips was a disaster to me, in my mind, as a head coach. I mean, he picked Rob Johnson. Rob Johnson was one of those guys who looked like an NFL quarterback, right? He was tall, cannon arm and everything. But when it came to actually being a quarterback, he was not real good. And then, of course, he had Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie, who didn't exactly look like an NFL quarterback. He was too short. His arm wasn't that strong. And it ended up being that Doug Flutie, because Rob Johnson got hurt, ended up starting the regular season and got Buffalo into the playoffs. The mistake that was made was come playoffs, playoffs, don't talk about playoffs. When the playoffs came around, what happened is I'm, I'm kind of this is the first time I've done this so you're watching this for the first time I hope I have enough resin to do this whole surface here um, when the playoffs came the problem was the 
problem was they switched back to Rob Johnson. And when they switched back to Rob Johnson, that, my friends, was the big mistake. And the reason being is, is Rob Johnson was not the guy. You had the guy. You had the guy in Doug Flutie. And they lost in the first round of the playoffs after doing so well. And so he ended up um, not as a real good head coach, just not. And so then he gets other head coaching jobs and again, not real good. But you can't argue, you can't argue with his coaching schemes and the way he did defenses. He kicked the Cowboys ass every time he played us. Um, you know, the Denver um, and elsewhere. So it's one of those cases where you look at it and you say, yeah, some guys are better suited to just be a coordinator as opposed to a head coach. And maybe Dan Quinn is realizing that that's what his real love is is actually working with the players and getting the most out of them instead of having the hassle of having to deal with the owner and to deal with the news and all of that stuff that it's just more fun to kind of be hanging with the the players you know putting on some pads and getting out there on the field and uh, reliving your youth and I'm happy for Dan Quinn that he is doing what he enjoys doing because in the end whatever job you do you need to enjoy it you need to be happy with it because if you find something you love you will never work a day in your life I've never done this before, so I'm sure some of you out there who do do this can probably tell me everything that I'm doing wrong. First of all, I need to get bigger containers so I can mix more of this at one time. And I probably should have started on one side and poured it all in there together. Good thing is this is all self-leveling, so once I get enough of this in here, it should level on out and be cool. And be cool. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm gonna keep working on this and see if I can get enough. I hope I have enough epoxy. I may not because it's got these little containers to do all three of these. I ordered some more, but I don't think it'll be here until Saturday. This is to help get the air bubbles out. And I gotta wait three minutes before I can use that resin in here. Now this is a food safe kind, but you can only pour no more than a centimeter at a whack. And that's why I'm learning. I'm learning the hard way.
they'll get this right. Hopefully the Cowboys will get themselves right and figure out what we going to do to build a Super Bowl team. Bubbles are coming up. Sorry, I need to cut the camera off. Forgive me. But... I've kind of got my hands full here at the moment. But I'll cut off in just a second. Boy, does this take a lot of this. key on this is I gotta get these bubbles out but I hope you guys are having a great day and doing something that you enjoy because I definitely enjoyed this Mark Holmes, I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you soon.